The road to successfully creating documents in SciFlow lies in the templates. Since they dictate which formatting specifics are applied to a document, they are the powerhouse behind the automated formatting. That is also why in SciFlow, generating a new document is closely connected to the template selection, which in turn begs the question, which template to choose? And I think this is a good question to tackle together. So, which template to actually choose? Since there is a vast plethora of use cases for academic papers, the range of available templates is admittedly broad. For a better overview though, SciFlow dissected them into three general sections. Depending on where you are in the app, you can see what these categories offer either from the editor by creating a new document here, or from the manage view by selecting the new document button that you find here. In both cases, you can reach the category that you think suits you the best, and there are journal articles, mostly catering to the specific requirements of a journal in post on submissions for articles, reviews, proceedings, and the like. Scientific manuscripts, following a selectable common format and citation style, this category gives a multi-purpose approach to anything from first paper sketches to full-blown manuscript. Exposé, assignment and thesis, often subsumized as thesis templates, from a mere assignment paper to a dreaded bachelor or master thesis, even dissertations can be tackled with one of these templates. When you select the desired category in the app, you arrive at an overview that offers further specification of what you may need. In case of the journal articles, you can choose from a vast library of particular journals and start a new document from there. The scientific manuscripts allow a selection after formal styles like ARPA, IEEE and so on. And the appearing thesis widget lets you organically choose which settings apply to your project like the type, the language and the citation style of the paper. Once you decide on the specific template you want to create a document with, it comes with a pre-made structure that corresponds to the requirements of the chosen template. That is why this document has a structure suited for the submission to the journal described in the template. And this thesis document offers a place to design the cover page and has assigned chapters for abstract and more. So keep that in mind when thinking about the next project you want to begin with SciFlow to lay out a fitting and promising starting ground. And although the right template is very helpful in starting a document, there is no need to stress too much about the decision because you can still change it afterward without any issue. Open the Export and Submit menu where you 1. see the active template and 2. can click on the magnifying glass icon to enter a search bar to scout for a different template by publisher or by name. Like this SciFlow report template for reports. Confirm your choice to use this template and you are set and ready to go. To export your project with the formatting of the chosen template, just click on download to receive the according document file. But please note that changing the template does not change the structure of the document. So it may be necessary to adapt the structure depending on what you switch the template to and what you intend to do with it. The chapter structure is also exactly the right keyword because that's what we are looking at next.